Hello everyone. Welcome to EA Secret. One of the most mysterious personalities in history is undoubtedly Enoch. What has been said about him cannot be finished with telling. For some, the person said that the great sage Hermes of the Greeks, according to some people, wisdom from the gods of the Egyptians Thoth taught writing to people he believes, some Mesopotamian mythology, the Anunnaki, while others Zoroastrian, Jewish mysticism, Metatron is seated at the right hand of God. According to Muslims, he is the Idris himself mentioned in the Quran. No matter how different things are said about him, the common point of all of them is that Anak is a personality identified with wisdom. The oldest text that mentions Enoch is the Genesis section of the Torah. This name is mentioned in the Vulgata 3 as Enoch and in the Bible as Enoch, and in Hebrew this word is given meaning such as, the one who teaches, educates, is brought to the secret. It is mentioned first in the section where Adam's lineage is described. When Enoch was 65 years old, his son Methuselah was born. After the birth of Methuselah, Enoch walked on the path of God for 300 years. They had other sons, daughters. Enoch lived a total of 365 years. He walked in the way of God, and then disappeared, because God had taken him with him. Genesis 5 verses 21 to 24. In the Quran, Enoch is mentioned as follows, and mention Idris in the book. Indeed, he was a prophet whose essence was a sincere word. And we raised him to a high station. Mary 56 to 57. And remember Ismail, Idris, and Tulkif. Each of them was one of our servants who were united in patience. Enbiya 85. Enoch's Book. In 1773, Scottish researcher James Burroughs finds a holy book hidden in a monastery in Abyssinia and thought to have been lost for 1,500 years. Research is being conducted on this book, which is believed to belong to the prophet Enoch. It is concluded that the first parts were written in the 300s BC and the last parts in the 60s AD. For this reason, and due to the narrative differences in the content of the book, it is assessed that it may have been written by two different Enoch. In 1947, goat herder Muhammad al Hamid throws a stone into one of the deep pits while searching for his goat, which disappeared near the Dead Sea, 13 kilometers south of the city of Jericho. When there is a sound of breaking the test from below, he goes down and finds the famous Dead Sea manuscripts. Along with these manuscripts in Hebrew and Aramaic, similar manuscripts were found in 11 caves as a result of research that lasted about 10 years. As a result of the examination of the manuscripts, 1 BC, century AD and 2. Important information is obtained about the current life of the religious communities living around the Dead Sea between December the Book of the Prophet Enoch, found in 1773, is also valued even more in the light of this information. The Book of Enoch is considered one of the most important books of the Old Testament, Torah, which is accepted to have been written by Jewish clergy for many years and is defined as the sacred book corpus of Christianity. However, the famous one, which was made in 325 BC and in which the holy books of Christians were determined. In the Nicene colony, this book is removed from the Old Testament on the grounds that it leads Christians astray. However, the preface of the book is still 13. It is stated that the information in some parts of this book is given to the Masons who come to the degree. As can be understood from the contents of the book, Enoch is the grandfather of the prophet Noah and the person who warned him about the great flood, and this part is described in detail. According to the narrative, some angels in the sky are impressed by the beauty of women on earth. And 200 angels decamp to Mount Hermon on the face of the earth, agreeing among themselves not to return. They enter into relationships by choosing mates for themselves from women and bring giant creatures 135 meters tall into the world. In addition, the leaders of these angels teach people how to make war tools from earth and metals, how to kill others, the movements of the moon and clouds, information that should remain in the sky, such as magic. Thus, evil will rule the earth after a short time. Giant creatures begin to eat other living things first, and then people and each other. 
The rebellious angels then ask the prophet Enoch for help and write him a letter of apology to read to God. But God does not accept this apology and says that the children of the angels can live only 500 years, and they will all die before his eyes. Then he sends his four great angels and has the rebellious angels chained under the ground until the doomsday. With the great flood that comes after, the world is cleansed from all evil. While the book describes some parts in great detail, it barely mentions the creation of humanity. Only the prophet. It is written that after Adam and Eve ate from the fruit of the wise tree in paradise, they became informed and realized that they were naked. From the description of this tree, a tree with grape-like fruits is understood. However, we knew this tree as an apple. The problematic part of Enoch's book is the sections related to the world. He mentions that the world is flat and the twelve gates are described in detail. A year is calculated as 364 days and 12 months, and it is written that the moon, known as the planet at that time, is renewed every 14 days. In fact, in the footnote in this section, it is said that the modern new moon term also comes from here. The fact that this information is contained in detail in a book that is considered sacred raises the problem of a decoupling between scientific reality and the Bible. What do you think about Enoch's book? I am waiting for your thoughts in the comments. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel.